all mankind were to disappear, the world would regenerate back to the rich state of equilibrium that existed 10,000 years ago. If insects were to vanish, the environment would collapse into chaos. E. O. Wilson. Brilliant man, very knowledgeable man. And indeed, I will talk about insects again. I do a whole series on bees, which are surrounding me, behind me. They're nonviolent creatures. They help the earth, they help us. We're silly to be afraid of them, <laughs> some people. I mean, you know, they, they sting out of self-defense. So if we leave them alone, which I wish we would on every level, in many, many ways. But I want to celebrate, I want to talk about their rich lives. So much more than we realized. I go into different details on the emotional and intellectual lives of bees. We know the ecological lives and wonderful things they do. But it's just amazing. And so the wonderful world of insects and you know the flowers that we love in this world that, that help us and the herbs and so important for this earth would not exist were it not for insects, especially such pollinators such as bees, but all insects, all living creatures have their place. So let's really respect the earth, respect all, even the insects. And we're learning more and more. We have the capacity with the cameras and the sound equipment to learn more about these wonderful creatures. But, you know, let's, let's celebrate this world we live in, this beautiful world, this earth that we live in. Let's celebrate and appreciate all living beings and get off of our high horses. We, we, we tend to act as though we're the highest species, but from a different perspective in a sense, especially we've proven with what we've done to the earth, in a sense, we're the lowest if we want to if we want to do a ranking thing, which I really would rather we not. But in order to counter the hierarchical, um, not just thought, because it translates to action, to dangerous, often cruel action. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm learning myself, but I, you know, to educate and to help us all, you know, appreciate. All the little ones, all creatures great and small, as Coleridge referred to. I used to be afraid of insects, but the more I learned about them, the more I appreciate them. So the flowers we see around us, the, behind me and around the world, you know, are so important for the world and so wonderful for the world. And thank you, bees, for helping the world be an absolutely wonderful and wholesome place. Let, let's, let's not get in the way, okay? Let's get off of our high horse, humans. Let's drop the hubris and, uh, you know, appreciate and love all living beings. All right, take care. Enjoy the wonderful world around us.